Hello, this is Lubos Kotsman from the Open Societies team and I would like to show you uh, what's new since about a week ago <clears throat> and that's the Parallel Download Support and Zipper. Everybody has been waiting for it uh, and now finally uh, you can have it too. Just be aware that this is not enrolled uh, by default on, on users so you really have to do extra steps to enable it uh, which is the entire point why I'm doing this video. So let's have a look on how to do that. Uh, so on, on the beginning of the of the uh, of the video you have seen me running zipper up uh, but I'm passing uh, by basically enabling the preload feature in zipper by passing the variable uh, zip pck preload one to the zipper before running it um, there are different ways how to do that you can do it like that but just be aware that you will have to uh, you will have to uh, zip repose the OSS, you should also pass the uh, media handler. We are using CRL2 backend, which is the new uh, new one. Again, if you want to read all about it, uh, go to the mailing list. Uh, it has, you know, you have all the context from Benjamin there. Uh, I also recommend to play with the concurrent connections. I believe that I'm running 15 in my demo. Uh, yeah, zip, uh, zip contract. If you would be passing or creating bug report, make sure to attach this file. I think uh, developers would be happy for it, as well as the log file in uh, file log, super log. This is this is two two files that should not be missing from any bug report for zipper. Uh, cool. So you've seen it. Uh, you've seen me passing the the uh, variable to zipper dub. You can pass it to zipper n install. Um, we'll do the same job, okay? Cool. Uh, and uh, you know that you have to pass the media handler um, CRL2 to, to the repository or to zipper. You can do it again through uh, variable if you want to. I prefer the, the repository variable as, as I showed you, uh, showed you at the beginning. But uh, for, for uh, easiness of use, uh, you can actually do it differently and that's what I would recommend you. So I will create a new Tumbleweed container, otherwise I'm uh, running on leap 15.6, uh, maybe. Cool. Uh, you also need to make sure that you have the latest greatest zipper, uh, which is uh, right now it's 114.88, uh, but the feature request at least 87. Uh, I think you zipper. We, you see here that we have other zippers, so I wanna, that will actually offer me the upgrade. So this is brand new container with Tumbleweed, okay? So we're starting from scratch, just like you would be on your system. Uh, so we have the latest greatest zipper, but it will not work out of the box, right? You have to pass the environment variable and you have to choose the backend. Uh, so for ease of use, uh, you can just install OpenSUSE repos package on your Tumbleweed machine and uh, we will actually set these variables for you. So if you sorry, uh, open the repos, you see that we set it here. This doesn't work with sudo, so for sudo you still have to actually do sudo env sudo uh, and then it will work, which is a nine part. So if you if but if you are under root like you do sudo su it will just work uh, because this file is, file is actually being processed and you can see that here we are already yeah, preloading right and if I don't do that you will see the usual retrieving which is the old way of fetching packages. Cool, so uh, but as I said if you run sudo su and you have open repos enabled you have latest zipper you are on top of it, it up, it will just work for you because of the uh, etc profiles profile the open to the uh, conf which has all the variables you need cool so this is basically the easy way how to enable it you've seen that you can do it manually too and the article is covering all of the things that you need to know also how to submit uh, feedback generally go to bugzilla and new bug if you're on tumbleweed choose tumbleweed and then choose the zip component uh, zip -zip. Make sure to attach uh, var log zipper lock and also etc zip zip conf because you know developers will want to know how many connections are using in parallel and so on and so on. And if you don't do it, like they will ask you, you have to wait for them to respond. So you can actually attach these logs after they ask you and then 
you know, then everybody loses his time. So please do it ahead of the time. What about Leap 15, Leap 16? So on Leap 16, we'll get the new zipper rather soon. Uh, again, with OpenSUSE repos, you will have the same media handler URL on 15. Uh, and the update will be released. Uh, but generally, the same step applies. You have to add media handler to your URL. And you will have to also fetch zipper from development repository because it's not released yet uh, for neither 15, 16. So, and add repo and uh, and uh, oh, we already have it cool. Yep. And then basically the same steps. Uh, just just pass the media handler either as a variable or path to repository and you are done. So I believe we've covered everything. Uh, one, one thing that I would love to ask every contributor is to subscribe to the mailing list uh, and you know let us know what were the settings that you were using, like what were the, the results that you were getting uh, compared to the previous uh, backend. And if you, if you hit any issues, please report back. Um, the article also covers uh, it links to a nice wiki page which is describing how you should do it, but generally I already showed you uh, it should be really simple. Thank you very much and I hope that you will be a happy Zipper user or more happy than ever before. Have a nice day!